Work, folks, the boys play HP sauce and the philosophers hate ketchup, mustard, and rice. It's the true title. Jakey really just changed it because the original one was when she got drunk on a night out. Anyway, in the last episode, we learnt the Avi Force spell. Want, want me to show you how it works? Watch the last video, you lazy gits. Actually, no, I'll just show you here. There you go. And that means I'm a lazy git too. It's well, that's why it works so well. Anyway. Come on, Harry, you're messing it up here. Two, three, four, five, a uh, six. There you go. And the bird flies off. Yay, thank you for saving me from that stone curse. I don't know what was wrong with insert name of thing to cure stoning in an RPG game. I'm going back to Jakey Coon. Why am I doing Ad Salim spell? God damn that bloody game. <laughs> Great game and all. Anyway, let's use that said door here. Ooh. Well, well, well. You got a parcel here for us. Okay, what is it? Ah. Peeves! Yes, we do. Okay. Alright, now you haven't got a deal. You nearly had it there with, with, with that, but now you don't because you suck. Alright, so that's the portrait room of the old posh baron, I believe. Or whatever the, the last one is. That's the portrait room we need to get. There's a bookshelf over here we can go through. Ah, <sighs> secrets! Alright, so this one's... Yeah. Oh god, it's Raymond's kitten again. Alright, so we need to try and get ten every flavor beans from this cat. How do we do it? Do we shoot it? Of course we don't. Would you shoot a cat? Honest. I wouldn't. Anyway. Pretty much it jumps on the blocks and creates the stuff. Watch out, because the blocks are unstable. Like that. All they really do- Oh, the cat nearly died there as well. No, but all they- All it does is it just takes off some of your health, so it's not actually that bad. Anyway, four, three, uh, two, one, and we are done here. Easy. Well done, Harry. You collected all ten Bertie Bots beans. Have this famous witches and wizards card as your reward. Thank you very much. I will. All right, so this is number twelve, which means we have five more to get. Kicking's off. Roderick Blumpton. Roderick Blumpton. Great. Alright, now people may be wondering. Well, is another one over here? There's another bookshelf over here. The answer's no, because you can actually get on top of this one. So yeah, you see that the game's the game's not being the, the game's being clever now. Anyway, let's have a force. This statue, so we can go and get our parcel back from Peeves. Damn it, Peeves. I will get my parcel back. Actually, this is one of the funnest parts of the game, is the race, is racing Peeves. Such a shame they never allowed you, you're only allowed to do it once, so you might as well make a save file right here before you face Peeves. Because then, you got three lovely save files on just one block of your memory card. And you can do this every time. Right. That's what I normally do anyway. If you get to the end before me, you Off we go, potty Alright, so it's pretty much a race. Through this little obstacle course that Peeves has done. It's so fun. There's also beans here as well, which is also fun. And chocolate frogs as well, which is all good. Anyway, we have to race Peeves to the end. If we lose, then I believe we have to redo it again. Um, until we win. Uh, if we win, then Peas will give us our parcel back. He better, or I'll seriously get nearly had this nick to kick his ass. This is a very- this is just so fun! I love this part of the game. But then it gets all bullcrappy when we have to go to Diagon Alley later. Spoiler alert, by the way, probably either in this episode or the next, but you'll find out anyway. There's also knights here which will hit you in the head like that. I will hit you in the head like this! The problem with Peeves, as he obviously races, is he slows down. 
Again. Like loads of bloody people. They slowed down. Malfoy also slows down in that race we had against him. So yeah. But anyway. So Peeves is currently leading. But here comes Harry Potter. Cautiously. Going down. Alright, Peeves is way ahead. Or at least he should be. But no, he's right over there because he slowed down again like an idiot. Let's go on this platform here. Followed by this platform here. And this one. And we got all the beans. Nice. Alright, so Peeves is still ahead. But this, this... This lovely mucus that he's put down actually helps. We fire at that... Uh, spider's web and we gain five points for it. Keep going. Come on. We're nearly at the end. Oh god, you missed a bean, Harry. Look at Peeves. He's so ahead, but he's... He could have won this by now. He could have easily won this by now, Peeves, but he's let he's got cocky, he's letting us he's letting us fight back. Which is nice of him and all, but he's just letting us win. Alright, so he goes through the wall. Because he's a ghost, he's sort of allowed to do that. And he's right there. And as we come into the final this final stretch, we're going to the final corner, and Peeves is in the lead. But here comes Harry Potter, and Harry Potter has left Peeves behind by a good seven or eight lengths, and Harry Potter wins! Peeves got his ass handed to him right there, right in the last corner. What a cheat! Not fair! Peeves wasn't ready! You were ready, I messed up a bunch of times, but you just didn't take it. Fine, I will take my silly parcel. You bugger off now. How dare you lob it. Don't lob it. That could be expensive china in there. I doubt that Harry Potter would get expensive china. No, it's an invisibility cloak. It is time it was returned to you. Use it well. To activate this cloak, pick up the invisibility tokens. They will only work for a short time, so be careful. Okay, we will. All right, so we got ourselves the invin the invisibility cloak. Yay! All right, so we can go back and obviously run through the course again, but without peeves, sadly. Um, which kind of sucks, I know. Which is why it's always good to uh, just uh, save before peeves, like here, for example. So let's save the game here and. Uh, And uh, see how far we are into the game. Let's have a look and see. We are... Last I checked, we were 43% of the way through. We are now 59. Nice. We're over halfway through. Ah, to the Forbidden Corridor. This, I believe, is the door, is the corridor that we were not allowed to go into. So let's go into it for fun. Let's do it. Let's go into it. Well, we're doing it for kicks anyway. Harry Potter only does anything for kicks. Harry Potter does everything for kicks. Anyway. Uh, oh. I believe we might have found Mr. Filch. Um. Uh. Hello, Filch. My name's Harry Potter. Oh. Students aren't allowed in here, are they? Yes, we are. There are things in the Forbidden Corridor that are not for the eyes of mere boys like you. You mean you? No, no you mean you're not for the mere eyes of me? That no students are to enter this corridor. Nah, that's the phone. Don't go trying to so I, I, I'm not getting that. Mrs. Norris and I know them all. Screw it, it's probably not for me. I'll be off with you before I have you expelled for wasting our time. Mm, I don't think so. Let's follow him! I want to get expelled and get out of here! And end this game! So let's go for it! Yay! Hello Filch, how are you doing today? Alright, so, as you can see, there are the invisibility tokens. We need to go and get them. There you go. And now we are invisible! We will only be invisible for a short amount of time though, so take the time, use it well. There's the key over there! Which we have now just got. And we can go through, unlock the door, and go through. Nice. And Filch goes through the bookshelf. Ooh, he does know all of the passages. These bookshelves you can't go through, so, yeah. Anyway, 
Let's use the door again. Let's see what we can find. Well, well, well. Snape, eh? You said to alert you if I heard anyone sneaking around in the forbidden corridor. Well, Mrs. Norris and I suspect that one of the students may be trying to sneak past us. I see. He's doing quite a good job of it. That's very interesting, Mr. Filch. And I have an idea who it might be. Let me guess, you think it's me, right? Developers. You have my permission to use the harshest measures necessary. There is something very special in the Forbidden Corridor that I've had my eye on for some time. We can't let anyone interfere with It's Mrs. Family. Norris, right? You, you desperately need some company, so you want Filch's cat. Well, indeed, Professor Snipe. Mrs. Norris and I will be extra vigilant watching out for intruders. See that you do, Mr. Filch. I have something special planned for anyone who tries to defy me. So this is where the game makes no sense. Where... What the hell would Snape want in the Forbidden Corridor when he's not the evil guy in the first place? Doesn't make any sense. Anyway, so if we go through this bookshelf, we can go to the next part of the game where we once again have to try and avoid Filch. However, we also have to try and avoid his cat, Mrs. Norris, which is... Wait there. And if Mrs. Norris finds us, that's pretty much just as bad as if Filch was to find us. But we need to get over there so we can get the invisibility. Right. I'm going to make it I'm going to make a dash for it. Go. Yes, made it. Now we jump here. No, no. Whoa, that was close. Get the key. Mess around with Filch a bit. Yellow, yeah, I'm over here. Filch, I'm over here. Oh, you can't see me, of course. You can't because I'm invisible. I'm gonna look the door. Yay! Victory for HP Source. Filch goes through yet another book bookcase. Which no one really gives a damn about, actually, if I'm honest. We're gonna lock the door to probably the easiest level of the lot. What you gotta do? Make the jump. Quite simple, this one. Make the jump. Get the invisibility. Go down. Get the key. Then go up again. You can do this in one sitting if you want to. Which I'm gonna attempt. Nope, it's not gonna work. Now my best attempt is just to stay here for the moment. Ho ho! Nearly. So now we have the key, and the invisibility is right back there. So now we can jump. Oh no, 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 get it. There you go. So now we're here, and we're going to mess Filch around, kick him in the head a bit. Run rings around him, literally, and then lock the door. Yeah, you just seen the door get unlocked and opened, yet you had no clue who did it. What an idiot. Anyway, now you go through that. Bookshelf. And of the final bit, which is bloody easy. You go on here, get the invisibility, go on here, get the key, and you're done. That's the final one, and it's the easiest of the lot. And you're done. You can tell because the door is on the left hand side, not the right. And Filch doesn't go through any form of doorway. So yes, we have done it. We have made it past Filch. Danger. Do not enter. Locked. Interesting. I wonder what's in there. I want to know. Uh, I, 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 I don't feel like wanting to know anymore. I think I'm just going to go this way to the storeroom, I think. And we creep in even though there's no one here for no reason. To some form of mirror. We strut in like Harry Potter does. I 
and it fades to black. What happens here? Well, I'll tell you what happens here. More plot! Reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Sorry about that, folks. That was a, uh, a, a, a no signal problem. To fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised, said Professor Dumbledore. He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest, most desperate desire of our hearts, but that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly, Dumbledore went on, adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what? thought Harry. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway. Harry, are you just on the rampage? It's cornered Hermione in the girls' toilets. She needs How the hell did you get through the forbidden corridor? Come on, Harry. We have to get moving. Okay. How the hell did you make it here in the first place? The hell? Control the frog there, uh, just in case you have any, just in case you had any problem with Filch. Ah, that might be how. That's to the upper castle again. Ah, okay. But it's locked, Ron. Why would you be going in the girls' toilets in the first place? Maybe he has a crush on Hermione. Uh, for people who've never seen the Harry Potter books, read the Harry Potter books, Ron actually marries Hermione in the end. At the end of the seventh book in the sort of future thing. Anyway, I'm going for a break here because this bit is a bit long and a bit tedious and I want to do it all in one video. So, sorry for the shortish parts here, but the next episode, let's play Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. We will rescue Hermione from the tr troll and the toilets. This troll has like an anvil-shaped body, I believe. Look at that. Anyway, I'll see you then.